everybody, it's Jen here doing my first process video for Project Life. I'm just showing you there my little plan. And if you've seen my other video that I did that how I do Project Life, you'll know that's a design a template that I use to plan out my photos. So I've tried to keep this video short and I've done lots of editing out. Um, originally this took me uh, over 45 minutes, I think, which isn't that long, but um, you know, I, I just find when I'm watching these types of videos, I don't really want to watch people cut up their photos. I don't really want to, you know, spend five minutes watching them stick everything down. So I edited that out. Please feel free to leave me comments on what you think about that. Um, but here uh, I'm using up my December kit. So I cut up all the scraps that I had left into either four by six cards or three by four cards. Um, no real plan in mind because they all match already. Uh, and then I just figured I would see what I liked. So um, I don't worry too, too much when I'm doing this, um, but I do try to balance it a bit. So you'll notice um, I put that three by four card on the left side, I put the same one on the right side. I have that flower paper on the top left and I've put another piece of it um, on the right side. Um, and you know, I, I'm not really thinking of that too, too much. Um, I'm just sort of trying to balance. So um, you'll notice on the bottom right corner, I've used some black paper and I had originally had that black stripe on the top right and I just, to the black on both sides seemed too much, so I swapped it over. But I'm just kind of doing it quickly, not thinking about it too much. Um, and it's just sort of what looks pleasing. Um, now I'm gonna try to use up all of my die cuts and I did awesome. I was shocked at how much I got used. Um, I almost always use up my kits with my Project Life, but I really made a concerted effort this time to use up this pack of die cuts because we do get a new pack in the January kit. And while they would still match lovely, um, I like to put them in this tray and, and move them around and look. And so I just thought, mm, let's get rid of this pack um, and move on. Um, I also cut up all of my rub-ons and put them on a piece of cardstock along with my wood veneer um, to try to use them up too. Uh, I will make a confession, I really don't like rub-ons at all, um, but I, when they come in kits I will use them and usually when I do use them I'm happy with the result, but um, maybe I have leftover anxiety from what rub-ons used to be like. Um, these ones weren't too bad, uh, but I find you had to rub really hard to get them to stay stuck down. Um, and it actually knocked over my camera and my tripod a couple times, just me rubbing and shaking. And so I did edit all of that out for you. You don't have to uh, look forward to any of um, my camera mishaps. So I am going to edit out uh, me sticking all this down. I'm just about done sort of fiddling around and fixing things. So through the magic of iMovie, which is agreeing with me more and more, I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, and I'm also going to use these um, script um, letters, thickers that we got in the kit. I just think these are gorgeous. Um, and I do actually use them in another spot. You'll see when I come back. Okay, I'm back and that was a good spot for me to stop my audio so it didn't crash on me. So everything is stuck down. I've used uh, my thickers and those Ellie Studio um, alphas that we got last month to do my weeks and uh, now I'm doing my journaling. Um, some people don't put words in, they just use pictures for Project Life. I like to put in um, just a bit. Um, I find if I have a ton to say, um, I usually make a layout out of it. Um, so here I'm just adding in little things, um, describing why I've picked these pictures. And I would say uh, half of these pictures are pictures that I've taken over the course of the day um, that I've texted to my husband um, because I'm at home, my kids are homeschooled, and so things happen to us lots during the day. And so I like to share them because there's no way in the evening I could ever possibly keep him up to date. And it's just nice little ways for us to uh, communicate with each other. Yeah, those thickers, they didn't, they're cute, but they don't stick very well. Um, so here I'm just saying, so for instance, this I was making chili. It's a family favorite. I thought it looked pretty. I took a picture. Um, here I was cleaning out a closet and I found two pairs of shoes I completely forgot I owned, which was awesome because who doesn't like finding shoes? 
um, here. I had done my own nails for the first time in ages and I was rather proud of how they turned out so I had snapped a photo of them. And let's see, oh this is my kids homeschool cupboard which is always a disaster but I'm actually saying um, how this term seems like it's taking forever because of the Christmas break in the middle and now we're in a crazy rush. And uh, yeah, that last one there is us playing a game that we bought for Christmas called uh, Merchants of Catan, if anybody is wondering what that board is. So now that I've done all that, I'm just doing the finishing, finishing touches. I like to use enamel dots or puffy stickers um, just to finish it off. And I um, love, love, love these ones. I totally did not need to use this entire um, sheet of puffy stickers, but um, you will be... Um, amazed or maybe not at how many I actually stick on here because once I started with the puffy stickers I couldn't stop with the puffy stickers they're just so cute so yeah still more I just keep finding little spots I'm actually really pleased with how um, this layout turned out um, even with my um, overboard on the puffy stickers and everything and using up so many embellishments. I think it, uh, it looks cool and it, it really didn't take me any longer than it normally takes me. So I'm gonna have some close-ups for you in a minute. Is my, I believe my camera stand fell over again right near the end and um, I edited out me sticking everything back in the pockets, etc. So I uh, hope you liked this. Please feel free to leave me a comment or suggestions or anything like that, what you'd like to see or um, questions on what I did. And I will see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.